welcome to another Naked Sunday video. Before we begin, go ahead and grab yourself a drink. What I am drinking is some rum punch that my husband made on Sunday, which if you're watching that was last week. And it's literally just the canned fruit punch, the Jamaican ones, with white rum and what else he put in there? Lime. And lime. That's it, that's it. No water, no sugar, no nothing. Okay, so just the canned fruit punch, the Jamaican one, um, the Jamaican Red Nephew White Rum and some lime. That's what I'm drinking. So if you guys want to run, go pause this video, grab your drink and come back, do that and let's have our conversation. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about who should pay on the first date. Now this topic comes from Timothy Delaguero and I hope I'm saying his name right. He did a, he did two videos. One was with another guy, which was 10 things that girls are insecure about that guys actually find attractive. And then the other video was with Shan Booty and Shameless Maya. And that video was 10 things guys are insecure about that women find attractive. One of the things was paying on the first date. For this video, I'm going to put my two cents on that particular subject. I feel like 2018, women can do whatever they want. You can buy whatever you want, go wherever you want, do whatever you want. Sure, great, right? But when it comes to the first dates, I feel like the guy should pay. Girls, you can offer to pay, sure. I wouldn't even go that far to offer to pay, honestly, especially on a first date. If it's like maybe a second or a third, sure, you can say you want to split it or I got this one or whatever, but I feel like on the first date, I shouldn't even have to do that little fake out thing where I'm like pretend to pay it. No, the bill is literally going to sit on the table until you pick it up and pay for the food. I feel like as a guy, you should make the initiative. You should want to take that type of, I don't want to say control, but you should want to prove to her that chivalry isn't dead. I feel like paying on the first date is a very chivalrous thing. <laughs> and it's something that guys should do. If you know you cannot afford a certain place, don't take your date to a certain place. If you know you only have like bear and wings money, don't try to take me out for shrimps and lobster. It's not gonna work because I'm gonna want to order the most expensive thing on the menu. I'm a steak girl. I love myself some steak. And if I'm in the mood for some lobster, I'm gonna get both the steak and the lobster. Okay, regardless of whether or not I eat everything that same night, I'm going to order the food. So if you know you can't afford that, don't take me on that date. And I feel like I've mentioned this before. I feel like I've said this before. If I've said this before, leave it down below because I, I can't remember what video it was. But the thoughts are the same. If you're going to take somebody out on a first date, make sure it's something that's within your budget. Make sure it's something that you can't complete. Whether it's mini golfing or movies or dinner or whatever the case is. I did do a video like this before and I was like, if you can't afford a certain place, you should like cook for her at home. Like show off your skills or invite yourself to her place so that you can cook at her place. And then that would segue into you guys doing it on the first date you see i remember okay so yeah i did kind of talk about that but as far as paying on the first date goes i feel like the guy should pay that's just what it is like the guy should want to pay because if i'm going out on a first date i am not going to pretend to take money out of my pr no i'm not going to do that at all it's and then if the bill is on the table like for the longest time that like, there's no more conversation being had the waiter already wrapped up with food ready to get up and walk out and the thing is still there do not expect a call back from me in the morning don't expect a text don't expect a dm don't expect a snap or anything like it's just done right there if i have to pay for the meal it's not no we're done that's it no if it's like like i said the second date third date sure I'll pay, doesn't matter. You paid last time, I'll get it this time. Not a problem. You wanna split it? Sure, not a problem. I'll pay for mine, you pay for yours, or better yet, I'll pay for yours, you pay for mine, whatever you wanna do. But the very first date, I'm not paying for anything. I want to be wined and dined and treated to all the luxuries out there. 
If I, if we're sitting at the bar, say for example, and we're waiting for a table, or let's say the date is at a bar and I decide to buy a round of shots, that's one thing. It's a bar. But other than that, outside of that, if I don't say, hey, I am going to do this, don't expect me to pay for anything. You asked me out on this date. Unless it's a case where I invited you out. If you ask me out on a date, you're paying for everything on that date. That's all I'm saying. Because I'm assuming that by the, the, the first date goes well, the second and third, if we're going on second and third dates, we both mutually agree to meet up or I invite you somewhere, then that's different. But if you jump up and grab up your phone to call my phone and be like, hey, kiss face, let's go out for dinner. I'm assuming you have the money to spend. Just saying. Just saying. The other day, I was watching The Purge. And one of the main characters, I believe her name is Joan. She's a black woman. She went on a date with an older white guy. And he was... The way he was talking to her, he's like, oh, I expected you to be sassy and loud, but you're so calm and laid back. Um, she said she went to whatever college she went to, and she got scholarships, and he's like, oh, I'm so happy you took advantage of all the opportunities that were presented to you because, he, pretty much saying, because you're black, you were offered whatever, whatever, whatever. And she found it so offensive, which low-key, it was, you know, borderline racist, like it was, you know, like a little taint of racism in the comments so she decided to get up she told him she was going to the restroom but she got up went and paid for the entire meal and then left i don't know where i was going with that topic but i just wanted to point that out if the date is going badly <laughs> no i still no, wouldn't pay for it got mad because she paid for it that's the reason he got mad you were talking about paying no he didn't get mad because she paid for it. he got mad because she left she, he said because you paid. Man, listen. Listen. If I were her, I still wouldn't pay for food. I would just leave. I would that just was leave. The embarrassing part. He, she also paid. Yeah, I know. I don't care. If we're on a first date together, I'm not paying for your meal. I'm not. If you, But then again, that was on a dating app, and they both swiped right on each other. So, no, because she could have asked him out. So there's that. She could have been the one to invite him out. Anyways, I'm not paying for anything on the first date. Fuck all that noise. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you feel like I should have mentioned something that I did not mention, leave it in the comment section below. If you feel like I should have mentioned something that I did not mention, leave it in the comment section below. If you feel like if you want to ask me a question that you're too embarrassed to ask in the comments, my email is in the description bar. Shoot me an email. I respond as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, peace sign and kissy face. Bye.